welcome to the Oracle Eloqua Marketing Cloud video tutorials hosted by Marketing Cube. What we wanted to look at today was trying to understand why in some cases when we set up a campaign some people will make their way through the campaign via a form submission usually but some people for some reason don't seem to receive those particular communications. There's a very simple explanation for that. If we go to a campaign canvas right now and have a look at some of the options that are available, we can begin to find out that what the answer is. But one of the fundamental principles of Eloqua and the Campaign Canvas is that when you first nominate a segment to participate within the campaign, in this case you can see we have 80 people that have been nominated to be a part of this particular campaign. Each step that they go through and each decision that is made, in this case there's a submitted form decision, those decisions relate only to the 80 people who uh, were in the original segment for the campaign. So in this particular example, if a few or even just one of these people, these 80 people should send on a meeting uh, invitation, for instance, forward their email to a friend or a colleague and that particular friend or colleague clicks on the register now button, submits your form, etc. They'll receive the communications as determined by the form, as in the form processing steps, but they won't continue to flow through the campaign. So there's an easy way to fix that. If we scroll down just a little bit further, here's one I prepared earlier. Now you can see there's a little bit of a difference here in this particular example, and that is that instead of having a form submitted option here, we have a shared list member question. And so we're asking, is this person a member of a shared list? So what a shared list will do is regardless of anybody who has submitted that form, they will then continue through the campaign and in this case receive either the email on the left or the email on the right. Now how do we get them into that shared list? That's a great question. The easiest way to do that is when you're creating a form. So let's for instance, we'll just take a very basic form and I probably should put at least one thing in there. So we'll just grab the email address as the example for this exercise. When we then go to the form processing steps at the back here, you'll see there are a number of options. One thing that you can do is drop an individual into a shared contact list. You'll see that option right here. So we simply highlight like so. You can look for a shared list that you've used previously. Uh, in this particular example, we've got a registration section here. So then, regardless of who submits that form, whether they be a member of the campaign or not a member of the campaign, they will then continue through the process. And in this case, continuing through that process is to then receive subsequent emails following that query or that on that decision, are they in fact a shared list member? So there you go, that's how you do it. That's how you ensure that if somebody should forward an email on to somebody else, that you're in a position to be able to ensure that you continue to communicate and engage with that particular individual. Hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, please contact us or look further through our video channel on YouTube for more information. Thank you.